100. Pretty epic number, right? Most pros run 100 miles a week, but in this video, an average guy is gonna attempt it. So let's get started with mile one. All right, so it is day one of my 100 mile week, and honestly, I'm pretty nervous. I am coming off back to back 70 mile weeks, so my legs are a little bit dead. I'm excited to hit that magic number of 100. Right now it is 6.30 in the morning. I'm gonna go run four miles and then I'm gonna run 10 tonight. So I'm gonna be doing 14 mile doubles for at least the first three days. First run, 100 miles. So as I set out on this first run of my 100 mile week, I was beyond nervous. I have never come close to this mileage before. Before this week, my highest mileage week was 70 miles, which is still a lot. I'm averaging 10 miles a day, but with a 100 mile week, you are averaging 14 miles a day, which is a lot of miles, needless to say. Also, for my last mile, I was going to run an all out mile, and I needed to stay a little bit fresh for that. Feeling good, um, obviously, because it's the first real run, and I'm going to be back later today. It's going to be deadly, but at the same time, it's going to be a piece of cake. All right, I'll be back tonight. Back for the double. I, I don't feel tired at all from the four mile double, but I think after a while, it's going to get going. It's going to catch up. Obviously, this week, going to take everything super, super super slow leave a comment right now what's the highest mileage week you guys have ever done i just still just don't know how i feel about this here and i'm hoping it fades as fast as possible uh if not whatever okay got location got the gopro let's hit the 10 miles 14 on the day so guys i'm obviously still feeling pretty good i've only ran four miles about to be 14 after this day is done and make sure to subscribe so you're as lucky as me when i found this dollar we are trying to hit 10,000 subscribers as fast as possible the goal was 2022 but we're getting close and let's just ramp it up let's get to 10k boys let's do it you guys have been killing it with the love lately we are one of the strongest communities on youtube so let's just keep that going and keep on growing i don't know how well you can tell but literally look at this hill i just came up probably been almost a mile of just straight up climb oh my god does it feel good with all this mileage on my legs so that wraps it up for day one it's like my long run day but i'm just gonna have to do this every day we're gonna be back at 6 a.m tomorrow morning and running again it's like that's my whole life now ah. yeah what did i get myself into woke up this morning and i was feeling sore 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 it's gonna be a piece of cake but hopefully a morning shakeout can cure that probably gonna be treadmilling for the primary run today so you won't see any footage of that but here we go another Four mile shakeout at 6 a.m. What fun. So you guys are probably like Tyler. Why in the world are you running 100 miles? That is so much. Well, first of all, for content. But second, I want to be super fit for cross country, which is coming up very shortly. And my goal in cross country is to run under 27 minutes or get as close as possible definitely to break 28 minutes and to run a 27 minute ak you need to run about 525 miles for five miles which is really tough but with this training i'm hoping i'm almost there and i'm getting fit what a grinder Ugh. legs are definitely feeling it they are definitely feeling it well we're 18 miles in Get a treadmill, like I said. So that'll be 28 through two days, looking good. Next time I talk to you guys, we'll be on Wednesday for day three. I'll take you guys out with a very tired push-up. Oh. Day number three, getting started. Again, gonna do the same thing I've done in the past two days. Four miles in the morning, 10 at night. So guys, in the last two days, I've ran 28 miles. That is by far the most I've ever run in a two day stretch. And I'm gonna have to do it for five more days. It is kind of cool to get to run a marathon over a two day stretch. Okay, 
Let's hit the grind. Gonna get over 30 miles right now for the week so far. So I'm not feeling too bad after two days. I'm about to add on 14 more miles today, which is gonna be a lot, but the scariest parts are Saturday and Sunday. Saturday, after having already run a ton of miles before, I'm gonna run for five hours straight, which is a ton. That is a lot of miles. And then to follow that up with a mile all out on Sunday is really gonna be one of the most painful things I've ever done. Four miles in the bank, super slow again. I'm hitting all of these morning runs above eight flat, but for an obvious reason, because I'm running a lot of miles. As always, I will be back with you guys tonight to hit another 10 with uh, my blonde brother. Okay, 10 miles tonight, we're with Blonde boy Jared, the inspiration behind this hair. Okay guys, comment right now who did it better. I think we know the answer. Yeah, I think we do too. Jared, 100%. These guys will be at 42 miles in three days. Can you say Giannis's last name? I I can't even start. It's like, it's like, it starts with a B, right? <laughs> Q Austin. Huh? I noticed there's a porta potty over there. And I couldn't quite help but think about Austin High. <laughs> so it was really great to run with Jared and just have a training partner. We've been running together a lot this summer, training up for cross country. So guys, leave a like if you want to see a Jared versus Austin boxing match. I want to see it so badly. So leave a like and show your support for the match. All right, guys, 10 miles done. We went kind of faster today, but legs are feeling great. Tomorrow, I'm going to do treadmill, so I will not be recording, but I'll see you guys Friday. We'll be at 52 miles, which is absolutely insane. Yo, it's been a while, guys. Well, not for you. It's been like three seconds, maybe. Today is going to be the easiest day of the week because tomorrow is a special day. You see, I have to take it easy today because tomorrow we are gonna be doing our 5,000 subscribers special, which is running for five hours straight. Also, I have to run an all out mile on Sunday after I do the 30 miles. They ask you how you are, you just have to say that. So yeah, it's gonna be a piece of cake. Easy day today, easy. If my pace is faster than eight minutes, I'm gonna be upset. So here we are at the cups of the last two hardest days. And today was really an easy day. I only ran eight miles today. It was super chill, super relaxed, just so I can build in on Saturday and feel great for that. And honestly, on Friday, I felt pretty good. I was like, I'm definitely gonna be okay tomorrow when I run this big five hour. So yeah, 60 miles down for five days, not too bad. All right, eight miles down. That means 60 on the week. All right, guys, here we are, the morning of the five hour run. You guys have already seen this video last week, so I'm gonna kinda give you guys behind the scenes of it. Uh, I won't be running for five hours straight. Do you even run for five hours in a week? <sighs> no, definitely not. Ooh. Jacob's weekly mileage is what I'm running today. So I'm gonna keep this section short just because I already made a video on this whole experience. You can watch it now, it was out last week. But in short, <laughs> this was the hardest thing I've ever done. My legs at the end of this run were absolutely on fire. It was beyond difficult. This is Jared. Seeing his Strava posts recently, the man is being some dog. Running like eight minute pace, although I may be a little washed up and retired, I'm still not running that slow. So eventually the five hours came to an end and I was able to stack almost 29 miles to my total to try to get to 100. The next day I also ran three miles while I was filming this video. Okay guys, this is it. This is my final run of the 100 mile week. My legs don't feel that bad for being my first ever marathon and then past the marathon. So we're gonna take it easy, and then at the end of this run, we're gonna run an all-out mile. We're at 92 miles right now. Let's go ahead and finish it up, and then end at the track, and we'll hit that final mile. So despite having gone almost 29 the day before, I didn't feel that bad when I first started running. But as this run went on, I felt worse and worse, and kept getting slower. I was like, oh shoot. This mile here is going to be bad. I was so scared as I finished my 99th mile. 
but we'll see what I can do in the final mile. Face of exhaustion, <laughs> dead. What's your mile PR? Uh, sub five. All right, so we are officially at 99 miles for the week. That literally sounds insane just to say. I have an all-out mile now, and this will definitely be the slowest all-out mile I've ever ran, even when I was in sixth grade. Breaking seven would be Ooh. a massive accomplishment. Are you serious? Yeah. 99 miles down, one to go, all-out mile after running 29 yesterday at 100 in the week. Here we go. So here we go, my 100th mile. The last one, and I'm making it an all-out one. And like I said, I was not feeling too confident. I was really trying to break seven. As sad as that sounds, I can't even express to you guys how dead my legs were. I ended up coming through the 800 in 309, which is 618 pace. But the last lap, I kicked super hard and ended up running an 83 last lap to pull it in. This is it. 457. 58, 59. Damn, 6'10, boy. Let's go. 6'10 after 99 miles. That's what a 100 mile week looks like. Make sure to subscribe. I'll see you in the next one.